what's up guys welcome back to another video and I made a video showing how to add your own custom box art for your Nintendo 64's uh, your Nintendo 64 games on uh, Mupin 64 plus FC um, I didn't do commentary on that. I forget, I forget where, where I was when I made that video, but just in case people didn't, you know, quite understand, uh, what to do, I decided to remake the video. So, first off, I went ahead and I downloaded another game. Um, we got a scan for it. Start file picker. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, Make sure, make sure that download cover art is unticked because for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, um, it tends to take forever to load the games and I think it's having issues finding the cover art, so... Just untick that because we're gonna do our we're gonna add it ourselves. Now run uh, file picker. And for this one we're gonna go to my SD card. Retro games. Uh it's Nintendo 64 ROMs or N64 ROMs as I label it here. And then just hit select. Or actually, hold on. I wonder if it just let me add the one that I don't have. No? Okay. That's not going to work. Okay, so just hit select then. I'm hoping it doesn't, okay, good, it didn't take the, uh, it didn't take the cover art from the rest of them. Alright, so, um, now that we have the game, which I chose a really popular one back in the day, which is 007 GoldenEye, really fun game. Um, what you want to do is after you download the game, um, you want to minimize this, you want to just go to Google, and type in Double, double, whoops, why didn't it, okay, that was weird, double, o seven, gold, golden eye, Wait, I think Golden Eye is, uh, yeah, I think that's a one word. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put box art. Yep, there we go. Yeah, 
And actually, wait a minute. I screwed up. I need to go. I'm going to go to Bing because it seems to be a little bit easier to get from Bing compared to Google. Alright, so... Google 7 Golden Eye Box Art. <laughs> Somebody seriously uh, searched up 007 Golden Eye for Xbox One. Wow. Okay, so then we'll go to images. Um, ah, there we go. Here's one right here. And then you just hit download, the little down, uh, down arrow in the top right corner and then we're going to switch back to the emulator click on the game that you want the box art for um Oh, I didn't see. I don't think I seen that last time. You can make shortcuts on your phone to the games. But anyway, you want to go to settings. Um, and you want to scroll down. What was it? And you want to hit choose cover art. And then you want to go to where your cover art would be. And there's the, there's the cover art right there. And that's it. And there you have it. You have your own custom cover art it's not easy um and the, the great part is i don't think it really uh it really needs to be a specific uh size excuse me I think it'll still make it fit and the reason why I say that is because watch this I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna choose Metal Sonic for example and look it made it fit so you don't have to use the box art if you don't want to um which is pretty cool but me i like looking at the box art so let's go back into settings go here add the box art again and there you go And that is pretty much how you add custom box art to your your games in 
Mupin 64 plus FZ. Not gonna lie, that's a mouthful for a name. <laughs> anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and then hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I post more tutorials and gameplay videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.